Hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pat de Pass. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from Liga Uber Eats. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they take on Lyon. Thanks, Derek. A lot that we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Fabian plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. And this is the lineup for Lille. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Potentially exciting match in store, and it's Paris Saint Germain who kick off. Difficult to stop him, and he takes on the shot. And a goal! Not wasting much time today, they strike first. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. And the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Messi. Attacking possibilities for PSG. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Jonathan David. Way up. Now with Bamba. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and he probably deserved the goal. Verratti. And that's an important intervention. But he's gone short with it. Neymar. Real chance. And it's a goal for Paris Saint-Germain to square this game. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal.
So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Andre. And the emphasis is on creativity. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Hakimi. This could be dangerous. Minch. Vitor Ferreira. And Fabian. Mbappe. Marco Verratti. Run it superbly to take back possession. Jonathan David. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Bamba. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Fabian. Neymar. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And teammates around him. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Well, PSG have controlled most of the possession, as you can see. But it's been a frustrating performance from them so far. They just haven't had enough guile in the final third. It's all been a bit too predictable, which has to change if they want to win this one. Gomes. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Chance to play it in. And Gomes. Not to be this time. Lionel Messi. Hakimi. Can he find the right pass? And Neymar. Of situations for the keeper. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Keen to take it short here. Marquinhos. And forcing his opponent in the nick of time. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Way up. Now with Bamba. In position. And I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. Bamba. Way up. Oh, breezing past him. Do it. Time for a change then. And how about the short corner? Cabela. Can he put it away?
Well, here we can see it again. It's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. letting the play flow and Gomes opportunity here and he's certainly in the mood for his second well he's certainly looking at the threat he looks so sharp today and the substitution will occur now Take it short. Terrific block. Not increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. Substitution it is for PSG. Taken short. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. <laughs> to extend the lead here. just watch the keeper he stands still hoping it's hit down the middle unfortunately for him he's got it wrong so back underway 3-1 the score well we have 20 minutes left in this game Mbappe Mbappe Superbly read and executed. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. But the danger averted for now. And Neymar! How about the cross? It's driven in low. Well, as you can see, what an excellent backfield this is to set up the goal. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. on Zegrova. This is looking threatening. So a throw in for PSG. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Fabian. Verratti now. Neymar. 
Now, options are plenty. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. David. Fought with it. A failure to keep the ball there by Paris Saint-Germain. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. No yellow card. Instead, a firm warning from the official. Problems for the keeper. Time is against PSG, but they still have the ability to hit back. The supporters want to see him have a go. Oh, that's a fine save. Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equalizer. Who can they pick out? And the referee says, enough is enough. That's the end of the game. It's a defeat for PSG. Your assessment? Well, they were great going forward once again, but they didn't get the balance right today. They were too open, easy to counter-attack, and the recovery runs were too slow. That's why they lost this one.